Tonight on Toonheads, we take a look at one of the biggest stars to come out of Warner Brothers Studio. No, not James Cagney, not Humphrey Bogart, a different kind of leading man, Bugs Bunny. By the mid-40s, Bugs had become one of Warner Brothers' biggest stars. Unlike Disney, Warner Brothers not only made cartoons, but they also made feature films. Action! The cartoon department always felt like their group wasn't taken seriously on the Warner lot. The writers and animators of Merry Melodies and Looney Tunes were housed in a building so infested with insects, it was affectionately referred to as Termite Terrace. The movie-making division was in another league compared to the zany writers and animators who created the seven-minute cartoon shorts that ran before each feature film. Watch up, Doc. <laughs> Look at that critter! What a scalawag! Often the writers of these cartoons would poke fun at successful Warner Brothers films and their big-name stars, using Bugs Bunny as their main spokesman. You tell Bogey if he wants me, all he has to do is just whistle. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? Betty Davis is gonna hate me for this. Well, you're right. When Bob Clampett directed What's Cookin' Doc, a cartoon where Bugs competes for an Oscar with other Warner Brothers actors, it seemed like the natural progression for the rabbit's meteoric rise to film stardom. What do you say, folks? Do I get it or do I get it? Shall we give it to him, folks? Yeah! Let's give it to him! And it was also a way for the folks of Termite Terrace to put their biggest new star, Bugs Bunny, on the same level as the biggest names in showbiz. What made Bugs Bunny so unique among cartoon characters was not only his sly demeanor, but the fact that he was always self-aware. The public has been demanding my life story. In other words, Bugs knew he really existed. Hey, this scene ought to get me the Academy Award. Like any real celebrity, he had a past, a present, and a future. Watch up, Prune And he knew he was a talented, charismatic performer. The creators of Bugs were amazed at the rabbit's range of talents. He was an excellent song and dance man. He could do slapstick or dramatic roles. He could do amazing impersonations. He even did his own stunts. And no one could do a death scene like Bugs Bunny. Oh, everything's getting dark. I can't, I can't see. Don't leave me. Getting dark. Dark. <coughs> Goodbye, pal. <laughs> Goodbye. In A Hair Grows in Manhattan, Bugs fondly reminisces about his formative years on New York's Lower East Side. And in What's Up, Doc, he talks about his struggles on the road to success. Okay, Smokey. Roll them.